All right, everyone, uh, I'm back from the dead. So if you saw the Halloween special, uh, I suffered a terrible fate from Java 3000, but we updated it again, or actually rolled back the update, Davros update, so, so we're good. Um, just to get back into normal things, uh, what we're gonna talk about in the screen share today is artificial intelligence inside Business Central. So we're talking about late payment prediction. Uh, today, if you get invoices, you're, you're, or you're sending out invoices, you're always wondering, when do I get paid? The due date is maybe 15 days from now, but you might get paid 30 days, you know, 45 days after and there might be some customers that always pay late and some customers that don't and your controller just knows right <clears throat> so taking that away taking that human uh, element away and having the system automatically predict the payment date for that invoice based on the payment history for that customer is something that a neural network can learn and uh, microsoft released an update uh, on that and we're going to take a look at that now. Let's get into the system a little bit and explore this. Uh, if I go into extensions right here, uh, there is an extension called late payment prediction. So this is from Microsoft. It's relatively new um, and it basically hooks up to uh, Cortana again for predicting payments for customers. So let's take a quick look at how that works. If I go back here into Chronos USA and uh, go into the search and type in late payment prediction, I can get into the setup. And in order to get this going, you have to enable predictions. And you can go ahead and uh, create a model, evaluate the model, schedule it, etc. So it's again uh, going into the whole artificial intelligence model uh, where you can tweak it a little bit. Uh, you can also connect this to your own Azure subscription for, you know, setting up the model again. And if you need help with this, uh, we actually as a partner have now an artificial intelligence department. <laughs> so, or I'm sure your partner has one. And if we go out of here and into customers, uh, and I'm actually going to go into the School of Fine Art. Uh, this is the demo database and I have uh, seen that these guys have uh, a lot of data or, or significant number of transactions. So I can actually get here into navigate, history, ledger entries. And if I look at the ledger entries here, um, it's highlighting the ones that are late, so the invoices, and I'm looking at everything, not just the open entries. And if I scroll a little bit to the right, I have this payment prediction column and payment confidence. So it's predicting that these invoices here, which are due uh, on the 30th of April, I think we are, we're on the 8th of April right now in the test system, that they are gonna be paid on time. But the prediction confidence is low. So the threshold is probably set pretty high, meaning that it's gonna give you a prediction, but it's not very confident on this. And so if I go ahead um, just to show you how this all works. Um, if I create a document, a sales order, and uh, to the, uh, let's just go ahead and do a new one to, to this customer, School of Fine Art. And uh, so with due date is the 30th, we're just gonna sell them a mug, uh, one mug for $5, like so. I'll go ahead and hit post. So another thing that you might be thinking, okay, if it's very low dollar amount and they're used to paying high dollar amounts, is that does it make it likelier that they'll pay the low dollar amount? Uh, and that's all in the model. And in this session right here, I'm not really taking the model apart. And it might actually be fairly complicated to understand that in the model. But from the user perspective, uh, again, we just come in here and take a look at School of Fine Art uh, and go into uh, Navigate History Ledger Entries and we should see that new posting for the $5 right here. 
and you can see that it's actually not predicting anything for the new uh, invoice. But if I go into uh, functions here, actions, functions, update payment predictions. Again, this is an, uh, an extension. So you install it. It's actually installed uh, on a new instances automatically. It pops in with this is going to be on time. But again, it's, uh, it's a low prediction confidence. So it's, it's kind of cool. Um, you should be able to get this to a high confidence. Uh, probably as more data is in here, the confidence will go up um, and, and it will tell you if it's going to be later on time um, using Cortana artificial intelligence and machine learning. So it's kind of cool.